Hey guys, we're at the fish market. Showing you some fish. Is there a line? <gasps> oh wow guys, look. Oh wow. They're live crabs guys, they're so small. You can see them move. We can fry it as well when we get home. Yeah. We can get some pinky and some snapper as well. Guys, so we're getting some pinkies. Banana, 
Hey guys, so we're back home um, from the fish market. So we've got a few different fish, but we're just going to show you how to um, fry one, one of the fish, like the group that we've got. So we've got different types. So we're just going to show you one particular type. And um, we're going to show you how to fry the Ghanaian way or the African way, how you would get it when you go to um, the streets or like, you know, the side so where someone is maybe selling like wache, you know, how they fry their fish. You won't get it the same as when you go home, like how you fry it at home. So we'll show you how you can fry your fish like that. You know, their fish taste so nice, like when you get it. You just, you know, want to keep eating them. But yeah, we'll show you how it's done here. So stay tuned and maybe you learn something from it. You can always learn a bit of something to add to what you already know. You know, it's all about learning new things as well and adding to what you already know. So yeah, guys, stay tuned and we'll show you how to fry the fish. And you know, you know me as usual, I'll be eating it as well. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so just stay tuned. Yes. We've been to the market and today we just want to fry the fish the African way. Mm -hmm. We're going to the streets of Ghana. Before we start, we wash our hands. Hi, team first. Yeah, so our hands are fully clean, like really clean. Now, I would just like to talk through what we've got on our bench today. We've got the fish, so we've got a lot of fish. Um, we've got um, the snapper in Australia, we say the snapper, but back home we say redfish. Red, red. Redfish. <laughs> so today we're frying it the Ghana way, mm -hmm. the streets, when you go to the comic seller, the kinky seller, where you go to the fry um, yam, mm -hmm. or the wache yeah. sellers, how they cut their fish and how they fry it. Mm -hmm. That is what we're doing today. We just bring it back home to Australia. And we've got lemon, mm -hmm. we've got onions, um, I'll say half onions cut into sliced, and we'll be using this flour, this is corn flour, so just stay tuned and see what we're going to be using the corn flour for. And we've got onion powder, we're going to be using this onion powder and the vegeta, and as usual, cooking oil, mm -hmm. canola. We don't have much stuff here because it's just fish, but we just want to spice it up, do a little twist. Yes. That's what we're doing today. Normally, when I'm doing my fish, I love to use lemon mm. just to get off that um, smell and the, the fishy fish, smell. The fishy <laughs> smell. And sometimes I just want to have a different taste of it. Yeah, so I love to use lemon to clear off everything. But some people also do use vinegar. I was just gonna say, yeah, vinegar, which so. is also good. But I love the lemon, so I I'm gonna I use lemon because I don't even like the smell of vinegar. Yeah, it's too strong. Yeah. But I think mean, it it also does the same thing. It does. Yeah, yeah, but just that I'll just squeeze this. I prefer lemon. Like, yeah, vinegar just has that funny smell. I love the juice. Mm. And also, mm. if your lemon has got a lot of juice in the sugar. You get good taste in from the juice as well, so I just love the lemon. This is pretty juicy, like it is. Lemon, yeah. You want to test it? No thanks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I remember I used to eat lemon when I was pregnant. Yeah, I remember. Oh, she I loved, used to just eat it like that. Even my daughter loves lemon. And now my daughter eats so lemon like crazy. She can just. <laughs> I think she sees it to be orange. I don't know, but it tastes different. I don't know. I think maybe because. It's when sour, I was pregnant, right? I used to eat it a lot with her. It was just, I think, when I was pregnant with her, because even with my son, I didn't even eat lemon. It was more like ice. But with her, oh my gosh. Now she eats And lemon. also, just to remind you guys, our fish have been cleaned. It's really yeah. clean. You could see everything. It's well clean and cut into yeah. smaller pieces. We purposely cut it into the smaller pieces because we want to go the African way, the street way, mm -hmm. because you know, 
you know the trick already. <laughs> when you go there, they buy the big fish, they just cut it into smaller sizes so they could make profit out of it. And because we're going to the streets, we don't want to cut it into bigger yeah. sizes, so we also make a profit here. Yeah. <laughs> as you can see, and I think it looks better than the small as well, you know. Yeah, I think some people um, normally um, don't like big fish or meats. Yeah, yeah. yeah like I've seen people well. who say, oh, this is too big, mm. I can't eat it, so can you please cut it? So sometimes I just love to cut um, my oh, fish into yeah. small sizes. I mean, like, if it's small, if you want to eat two that's okay. But when it's big, you see it's like, you're already cool. Someone like, said, uh, scary. When they say, yeah. Not scary. Uh, what can we do? <laughs> Scares them away. So now you're just washing the lemon off first. Yeah. Oh. Give it a extra wash. You like to get the lemon off. Oh, okay. Fish is um, clean now. We've got everything clean, like well clean with the lemon, so it got no fishy smell now. We're just gonna marinate it. Normally, what I do is I just use um, the onion powder. So I've got my onion powder. Let's say about two teaspoons, not that much, depending on the um, amount of fish you do have in your hands or at home, or the amount of fish you're working on. Because I've got about, let's say, 500 grams of fish. So I'm just using about two teaspoons. Mm -hmm. And I'll use three teaspoons of the Vegeta. Just add in the Vegeta. So um, I've got this here. Um, I don't know, maybe in different countries or back home in Africa. If you don't have this particular brand, don't stress yourself. You can use veggie stock. So it's all made of vegetables, which helps to spice up the fish, the yeah. meat, whatever you're using. So don't necessarily go to the market looking for this particular brand. Just try and see any veggie stock that you get in the market and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And with this, we don't need salt. Yeah. So I'll use my hands because it's well cleaned. We just... Um, Work through it to make sure um, the veggie stock and the onion powder goes through all of it as we marinate. And also, bear in mind, we're going to uh, put the fish down for, let's say, about 10 minutes mm -hmm. so that um, it's well marinated, like the spices go through every bit and part of the fish so that oh, we nice. can eat it. And that onion thing is so strong, I can smell it. Even though yeah. it's like powder, it's powder. It's strong, guys. It's, it also it. gives it a nice mm -hmm. taste. So you know how sometimes people love to use like they'll go for onion, ginger, oh, garlic. They oh, blend it. No, so I just use this. Okay. Um, because I love onions, so I just go for the onion powder okay. and I'll use the vegeta to mix it up. Yeah. And I get the taste the I want. Okay. Yeah. So nice. just to cut down the long process mm. for you. But you can still blend your own onion, you yeah. can blend your garlic, you can blend your ginger. And whatever veggies are anyway, like. Yeah, whatever yeah. veggies you want to use, you just blend it mm -hmm. and use it. Or you can still go in for this. And, and you can also, they do have the ginger powder. You can also go in for the ginger powder if you want to yeah, add ginger I've to it. Shops as well. Yeah, well, but what, if, what about the ginger paste? You can go for that too. Like okay. it's all give you the same taste. Mm -hmm. Just that because um, I've used the lemon, so I don't want to use ginger. Mm -hmm. So if it had been that uh, I didn't get lemon and I just used water and maybe salt to wash it up, mm -hmm. I'll get the ginger oh, just okay. to cut down the fishy yeah, smell. The oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, see guys, we're learning something. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. always learn this from my mom. Shout out to you, Auntie Agi. Like she's I'm saying number one. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> the best cook. The best cook. Wow. So you just marinate all that and just cover it? Yeah, we cover it down for about 10 minutes okay. so that um, our spices go through. Mm -hmm. I'll wash my hands. I'll just grab you something. Like, Thanks, love. And just cover it up. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So 
we'll leave this down for 10 minutes and in 10 minutes it should be ready to be okay in the hot spot mm, frying okay so our fish is ready after 10 minutes now so we're going to get it fried and i'll get the canola oil okay i'm turning on the stove now getting a pan ready so i'll wait for two minutes to get the pan hot because because i've washed it i've got a bit of water in there i want all the water to dry up and i'll put in the oil so and we start frying up now Woo! i just remembered back home when you go to the yam cellar and they fry the fish even when you're standing there you could smell it so woo, yummy okay our pan is hot we're putting in the oil now we're going to deep fry so i'll put in more oil yo so you know um on the streets they use the yolk um yeah so you see on the street of um, Ghana you see normally they use their wok but here I'm using this deep um, frying pan it's similar to it because I just want to go with the flow so that's why I got this and we we'll wait for the oil to be hot and we're gonna use the remaining ingredients I've got my onions and I've got uh, my corn flour yeah, you'll be wondering why is she using onion? Are we making stew or no worries? Just stay tuned to this channel and you'll find out what I'm gonna do with the onions. Because I said we're going the African way, we're hitting the streets of Accra, we're hitting the streets of Koforidia, we're hitting the streets of Kumase. We just want to go with their flow, so we're using the onion. You know, you could smell um, when they fry the fish, like you could get this nice um, aroma that comes out so that is why we're using the onion to get that taste the onion um, makes the fish more nice so you get a good smell from it and also I love to put it in the oil before putting in the fish so I would say it infused the oil with that smell so even when you walk past the house you could smell oh something nice is smelling in this area or suburb or whatever you call it yeah okay our oil is hot now so i'm putting in the onions and when it's slightly like brownish not golden brown slightly brown then we start moving to the next step and at this stage this is when i put in my corn flour um, someone will be wondering, people normally use um, normal plain flour or all-purpose flour. Why is she using the corn flour? I want it to be crispy, so I love using um, the corn flour, which gives it a crunchy taste on the outside. And also, some people love to dip it on the fish, but I love to sprinkle mine in the oil like this. So I just sprinkle... So it doesn't stick in the pot when I'm frying. It looks ready, so I'll just put in those. Put in those. There we go. Gently. I've, I've noticed that people just hold it and drop it in and it splash. You just take it down into the oil gently, no splashing. You just take your time. So you can see our fish is in the oil and it's slowly frying. So you can see. Oh my goodness. I wish you guys could just walk in front of the house. You could smell it. You could smell the sweetness of the fish. Mm. It smells amazing. So after you put everything in, how long roughly do you normally wait? 
So normally I don't really have a specific time. Mm -hmm. I only wait um, to see that um, the bottom part is golden brown. Okay. So I can easily turn it over yeah. to the other side to mm -hmm. dry. It. So I will assume, let's say, five to seven minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm not really sure. I'm just assuming. It mm -hmm. all depends also on the fire, how okay. high it is. Yeah. I don't want it to be too high, otherwise it will get wet. Right? Yeah. I want it to be golden brown yeah. and crispy. Yeah. yeah, so it's on a medium high. Oh, okay. Because like, why don't you put it on high? So you know. <laughs> I don't Burn everything. Bangs, blackish. Then you have to eat it by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice, though. Eating it by myself. How nice. fish. Woo. I don't think I want to eat burnt fish by myself. I will. Mm. What oh, do I do? I get it so that I wouldn't get to eat any. That's the secret. <laughs> Amazing, guys. I think because of the onion you've added as well. Yeah. So it's got the onion adds yeah, uh, like a this, different aroma to it. Aroma mm. to it. It smells amazing. So that is what I do, even to my meat mm -hmm. when frying. When frying fish meat, I just love to add onions onion to the oil. Oh, okay. It makes so it smell really nice, like to give it a different taste. Yeah. So just to differentiate myself from others. Mm. Guys, so maybe you should try one next time you're frying fish or meat. Um, fry a bit of onion in it, but like, don't make it brown, like just slightly fried, and then you can put in your fish or your meat. Yeah, I'm just turning them to the other side to get the other side fried as well. So, why are you using spoon? Just to make it easy for me to flip it over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it's easy for me to move around it with a spoon, but you can use whatever you feel comfortable with. Oh, okay. But I love to use a spoon. Sometimes I go with fork, mm -hmm. depending on how big the thing is. Yeah. But I just love using the spoon to make it easy for me. And I think it looks like it like moves around more easier. Yeah. Than maybe um, a fork or something. Because I think sometimes a fork can even rip the meat. Yeah. Mm. It's looking good, guys. Can't wait to taste it. Yeah, golden brown as I want mm -hmm. it. So you're gonna let it fry a bit more. Yeah, and also sometimes when the um, onions is getting more darker, mm -hmm. I love to take it out. So you can see I'm taking them out of the oil. Oh, okay. Just to make sure it's out and the oil is like as clean as it is. Mm -hmm. Because when it gets more baked, like it changes the, the color, color of the oil as oh, well. Okay. So are you going to put more um, onion on now? No, as okay. it is, it's good. I'll only put onions in when I'm putting them like there. Fresh one. Oh, in right. This. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So ready now, I'm taking them off the oil and I'll put them here just to get it, the oil drained from the fish. Mm. Whoosh. Yeah, I love using the thorns to mm -hmm. get them out because it's easy for me, as I said before. So, please don't say she's using um, thorns, so necessarily you have to use whatever you feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. This is what I feel comfortable with. I just dropped one. I'll it's alright, I'll eat it for you. Don't worry, I'll get it myself, <laughs> don't stress. <laughs> Wow, it looks so nice and golden. Yeah. Oh. So we'll get the onions in. Mm -hmm. And also we get a cornflour, sprinkle it in as well. Because it's already hot, I don't have to wait as I started. You remember um, 
when I put in the onions and stuff, I wait about a minute. But this is super hot, so I'll just drop it in straight. Mm. And straight. Wow, guys, watch it fry. Mm. Okay, so guys, our fish is ready. We are now um, on the streets of Accra. We've got our red um, chili sauce here. I think we just need our kenke, our fried yam, our banku. But we don't have banku here, so maybe we'll face this fish with um, semolina. Mm -hmm. But before that, ooh, I just want to try one of it. Just mm. to tell you how it tastes, so we'll just share it equally. <laughs> equally, guys. Yeah, equally. <laughs> you take this. Love, and I'll get some speed. I'll get. I want to get some sauce on. Mm. It's so crunch, my goodness. Oh. Be careful when you're eating fish, guys. That's why I cooked myself with the bone. Mm. Mm. This is nice. Well. There goes the spoon. This is really nice. Think how much chili I'm putting on. Ha! Huh. So let's be careful with it. Bones mm. as she said. In fish, I think this one. Mmm. Let's go. It is so crunchy. Wow. Very crunchy. Oh my god. And Bear in mind, you can eat this with anything you want. Mm -hmm. You can eat it with rice, with even you can put it in your soups. Anything you do have available, you just go with it. And it's very beautiful. It tastes so yum. You know, you know what I like? When you make um, gravy, tomato gravy, and then you just um, fry the fish, you put it inside. And the way this has been fried, it's so nice and crunchy would be so nice inside the stew as well. You can eat that with like rice or whatever you like. Kumi, 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 kumi. The girls will say kumi. That What's is kumi? kenke. Oh, okay. The girls call mm. it kenke. Wow. I was thinking, what is she saying kumi? Communication. Mm-mm. Mm. When you say dokono. Mm -hmm. But the girls call it kumi. Kumi. The kenna. Kenna. Very well, pao kumi. In China, no, no, in China. That's what I know. It tastes very good. I'm just, it's really nice. Thank you for really watching. And please, if you've not turned your notification on, please do. And don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. Let us know what you think. And if you try, just leave a comment down below as well. You now, just let us know what. You thought of this um, style of fish frying, and yeah, guys. So don't forget to, we said before, turn on the notification button. It is really important. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, and <laughs> we'll see you in the next video, guys. So take care. Bye. Bye.